Well, hello and welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, we're back to our focus on the book of Proverbs, and we're going to walk through Proverbs uh, throughout the year here and find those nuggets of wisdom and truth that speak to our lives. And today our big theme is this, that generosity is connected to a life that's blessed by God. Our generosity seems to have this connection to God blessing us. I'm not exactly sure why or how it works. I've been a pastor a long time, a Christian a long time. I don't have everything all figured out. But, but there is this sense that if we live with open hands and an open heart to share the things that God gives to us, that God seems to want to give more to us because we're living generously and He knows He can use us as someone to pass His blessing on to others. When God blesses us, especially in monetary ways, it's not just for us. It's that we might become a blessing to those around us. And so listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 3. First, I'll, I'll read verses 9 and 10. Here's what we read. Honor the Lord with your wealth with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim, brim over with new wine. Here's this idea that if we honor the Lord, if we give the first fruits, if we're generous toward God, that there's a sense of this blessing comes so we can continue to be generous. This, this cycle of blessing can continue in the cycle of generosity. Then we go on to verses 13 through 16 and we read this. Blessed are those who find wisdom, who gain understanding. For she, this is, this is a personification of wisdom, she, wisdom, is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing can compare with her. Long life are in her right hand, and her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. This passage actually says that when you get a real picture of wisdom, you discover that it's actually worth more than gold, silver, or precious stones. Now, if you don't understand how God works, you might go, that's ridiculous. I, uh, thank you very much. I'll take the gold, the silver, and the precious stones. You can keep your wisdom. But, but if you want to have a meaningful life, a rich life, a, a life that not only glorifies God but brings you joy, you'll discover that wisdom is worth more than all the stuff of this world. And so just a few thoughts from these two passages. First, the generosity does lead to a blessed life. There's a connection. The more generous you are to God and the more generous you are to other people, it will have an impact on the blessings that God pours in under your care. I think it's a matter of stewardship. He understands you're going to be a good steward of those resources. He'll give you more of those things. Side note, I don't think we could trick God. I'll act like I'm, I'll act like I'm being generous so I can get more stuff. And God will think I'll be generous. God knows your heart. So check your heart. Make sure your heart's in the right place. In, in verses 13 to 15, we discover that there are things more valuable than things. There is stuff that's more valuable than the stuff of this world. There are things that shine brighter than gold and silver and diamonds and rubies. And wisdom in how you live your life, how you care for the people around you, how you follow God, is one of the most precious things you'll ever have. Make sure you determine what you value most in this life. And then provision and honor. God wants to pour out provision in your life. God wants to honor and bless your life. I really believe he does. Sometimes what gets in the way of God blessing us the way he wants to is not his will to bless us. It's our willingness to live the right way. If we are self-centered, if we are poor stewards, if, if we are miserly in how we live our lives, and then we don't feel an outpouring of God's goodness, maybe we need to make the connection. There's something in the Word, and, and let me be very clear, this is not a one-for-one. One. If I just give money away, I'll get more money. It, it, it's not a financial strategy, it's a condition of the heart. When you understand that all you have is a blessing, that God has been good to you, and you live with open hands and an open heart, God is quick to then fill your heart and fill your hands with things He can pass on to other people. Would you become a conduit of the wisdom of God and the resources God puts in your heart? Let's pray together. Living God, we thank you that there are things in this world more precious than the things of this world, but you. And so we pray that we will pursue you and seek you and receive your goodness and your blessings in our lives. But may we live with open hands and open hearts to share what you've given, both the wisdom and the things of this world for your glory. Make us joyful in our generosity, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, if you're watching this in real time, Happy New Year's to you. Blessings on you and have a great rest of your day.